Hi everyone, welcome back to Jabara, it's Barb, and today we have tons of cleaning motivation in this video. I hope y'all are ready for it. The kitchen was an absolute disaster. I had dirty dishes. We had also went grocery shopping a couple of days before, so I hadn't put the dry goods away, needed to do all that, but I needed to clean the pantry. It was a mess. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and start cleaning in the kitchen, get it all situated, because I need a clean surface to bring out everything that's in the pantry and y'all will see an amazing transformation so stick around for that I hope everybody's doing well I hope this video motivates y'all I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some music we are who we are why don't I be me and you be you we're spreading color around us we're lighting up the sky it's what we do we shouldn't care to express yourself in your own way and we could have some fun no problems coming in our way i would like you just the way you are and you would like me just the way i am and i would like you just the way you are the way you are oh. keep on doing what you do doing what you do just keep on doing what you do Keep on doing what you do Doing what you do Doing what you do Doing what you do Doing what you like to So I am just using vinegar and water to clean the counters. Y'all know I do that. I did put a little dish soap in the rag just to freshen it up a little bit for the smell. But I usually always clean with vinegar and water. Y'all know this. I don't like to use a lot of different chemicals. I do use chemicals when cleaning. But most of the time I just stick with vinegar because it's just a really good cleaner. It doesn't leave a residue and it isn't harsh. Um, and I usually have candles going or scents going or something going to make the house smell really good. And also, as soon as the vinegar dries, the smell usually dissipates. So it's not a big deal for me, but not everybody likes vinegar. But this is what I do. And I decided to take everything. This is like a when I really, really want to clean, I take everything off the counter, move it to one side, clean that, and then put everything back. So we'll be doing that as well. I also added some more wood in the kitchen. I had taken a lot out. I do this all the time. I will add stuff. I will take stuff away. Um, it's just what I do. I, I think I want this stuff and then 
when I take it off, I just love the way a clean space looks without a lot of decor. I don't know if anybody else is like that, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish up on that. I also wanted to touch on something. Thank y'all so much for all the kind words and support that y'all give me. I, I got my first thank you the other day from Super Chat, and I appreciate that so, so much. Every little bit helps my family, and I appreciate it so, so much. Um, I also wanted to address some of the negative comments. There are a couple of negative people that will come and comment. That is life on the internet. Um, I hope that they would never do that in real life. Just be mean or petty for no reason. I have a different, like a lot of people ask me, how do I deal with that? Does it affect me? Of course it does. When somebody says something negative, it's going to stand out more than positive because we don't get that all the time. We're usually in a echo chamber of you're doing great. We love you. All that stuff, which it's so great to hear. But then when you do get that uh, negative comment and if it's, it's constructive, constructive criticism, it's great. I appreciate that. When it's just somebody being mean or ugly, I usually just ignore it or I try to de-escalate the situation or, you know, whatever the case may be. But the uh, saying hurt people hurt people is so, so true. So always remember that if somebody's trying to hurt someone else with words, it is because they have been hurt and you have like, cause happy people are not even ha cause you're not happy all the time. Happiness is just one of many, uh, feelings, but content people and people who are striving and people who are trying to do better, to have a better life, to grow, uh, they don't do things like that. So Always remember, if somebody's being negative, negative to you in real life or on the line, don't take offense to it. Just remember that they have been hurt. Somebody hurt them, and they need to, they need to hurt somebody. And it's so sad to see. I hate it. I always grew up believing that the world is hard enough already on us. Um, we don't need, I, I don't need to be negative towards anybody. I don't need to hurt anybody. I don't need to bring anybody down because I'm sure their life has done that quite enough. And that's for all of us. Like all of us have been hurt. All of us have been mistreated. All of us have been wronged. And we've also done that to other people. Just, you know, we've been hurt. So we just, it's a cycle. And so that's why I don't ever try to combat a negative comment with another negative comment. I try to be peaceful and loving and kind and do the right thing. So, but I do appreciate y'all defending me and all that stuff. And some of these negative comments I get a kick out of. I will not block these people. I will not do any of it because some of them are just, uh, funny. And I just think it's, I, I think it's sad that they have to go through that. And I'm hoping maybe, Maybe they'll change. Maybe they'll come around and um, be kind. I don't know. But anyway, I do appreciate y'all so, so much. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to touch on that. And I do, if it's a really ugly comment, I will delete it. But most of the time I just leave them up because like, you know, why not? I can't, I can't go through every video and monitor what's in the comments, I can't, um, especially the ones that are viral, there's no way I could go through on a video that's had over a million views and um, combat that. I can't. And it's just, you kind of get used to it. And like I said, I, even in real life, I, I just know that when somebody says something hurtful, it's because they've been hurt. They're going through something and they haven't healed from that yet. So they, of course, got to they gotta make somebody else feel like that. Like I said, happy people do not tear other people down. and Or content people do not tear other people down. So always remember that and try to love yourself and talk to yourself as your best friend. Because that's, that's so important. Especially if you're doing internet, you know, your social media you got to be your best friend. And I'm not saying, um, I'm not saying like be all conceited and stuff, but I'm just saying like, know in your heart that you're working on yourself to make yourself better, to 
make the people's lives around you better, to make your kids better, to handle things differently than you were taught, and just try to be the best version of yourself that you can be. Um, that's the most important thing to know that you're growing, that you're doing things like with good intentions. And a lot of people don't understand cleaning videos, but it's the same as watching a workout video or a makeup video. It's for tips and tricks. And it's also for motivation. It's relaxing to watch for some people. So there's just so many different reasons for it. And yeah, like some people will just come to my video and they just watch it. They don't like me or they don't like my videos, but they watch it and I, I'll never understand it because I don't want to put anybody in a bad mood. That's not what I'm here for. I'm not here to be controversial. I'm not here to be mean to anybody or make anybody feel a certain way. But uh, yeah, it's just the internet is a crazy, crazy place to be. But you meet so many, so many just good hearted people. And for those relationships, I'm so blessed to have y'all. And I will always, I will never have regrets about my channel, starting my channel or anything like that. So anyway, I just wanted to touch on all that for y'all. Uh, but yeah, thank y'all so much for all the kind words. And um, let's just try to remember, like I said, that people are hurt and they want to, they want to hurt other people. So we can't just hurting them back isn't going to help the situation. We got to we got to change things one person at a time. So if we can do that, then we're making progress. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wipe everything down in here. I wanted the kitchen to be super, super clean. And then we are going to wait uh, a couple of days to do the pantry. My husband actually hurt his back. So when that happens, everything uh, stops. <laughs> so I had to wait a couple of days to start on the pantry. But we're definitely going to get that done in this video. And I hope you all enjoy it. For a while, trying to please everyone who's around me. I've been putting on my fake smile, even though I'm wasting time. I don't want to be trapped in a box, trying to be like the rest when I'm not. I just want to go my own way, gonna let the past burn down. Cause honestly, don't want to be stuck in boring conversations with you. With you, I'm gone.
bunch of stuff stored in here. That's what I do with this area. There's not a lot of storage in this house, so everything just seems to accumulate back here because I can shut the door and it's out of sight, out of mind. I had taken a lot of the pictures and stuff. I'm going to be redoing the kids' bathroom soon, so a lot of those, some of those are going to go in there. There's a couple that I'm going to redo. Uh, just a bunch of different stuff that I need to get done as far as like my more creative side. I just haven't really tapped into that lately, but I need to. I have a Cricut. I have all kinds of paint. I have all kinds of tools. I just really have been uh, not doing a lot of that, so I need to get back on it. Y'all y'all wouldn't even know. Like I can kill it on a, on a scroll saw. Like I can make some crazy stuff, and just all the things that I've learned being with my husband and from my father-in-law with woodworking and stuff. I don't know. And then my mother-in-law is extremely, extremely creative and I've just gotten so many tips from her. But anyway, uh, just a lot of stuff I need to do, but I I'm going to take those out and wrap them up and put them away for now until I get ready to do the things I want to do. Uh, but yeah, it was just all stored back here. We had a mess back here. I'm going to start using this as a little pantry area also. I usually use it to store stuff like utensils and, uh, big pots that I can't fit anywhere else, but I'm going to go ahead and clean it up and we're going to start using it for food storage as well. Um, my uh, husband and my mother-in-law actually picked up some buckets for us to store food in the other day. So I got those. I'm going to be putting the rice and the beans and the flour and stuff like that and probably get some more of those because they're just really convenient. We do live in the country. I am surrounded by uh, farms and fields and stuff like that. So we do get little field mice that come in. Always got to stay on top of that. Uh, it's it's a travesty. I am, I've been in the country my whole life, pretty much. I've lived in town a couple of times in my life, but I was raised in the country. I should not be as scared as I am, but if you put a, a rat or a mouse in front of me, I'm done. I'm gone. I'm out. I'm not having anything to do with it. So I do try to clean this area quite a bit, even though it does get cluttered. And when I do clean anything, like y'all are going to see next week, uh, or probably this week, maybe this Friday, I'll put that video up. I'm going to take every single thing out of my bedroom and clean it from top to bottom. And then I'll only put back in stuff that I'm actually going to use. That goes for clothes, anything that I have in there. I'm going to take everything out, clean it from top to bottom, and then put things back in that I'm actually using every day because clutter will bring uh, critters and they just, it's just, I, I can't handle it, guys. Um, so yeah, that's one thing about me. I am terrified of rats and mice, but we do get the little bitty filled mice and they, uh, they tear things up. So I have to put things in the buckets like this. I know uh, some people probably wouldn't understand this, but I know people that live in town, they get mice and um, even rats. I, oh, don't get me started on a rat. I can't, I can't handle it. Uh, but yeah, I just like to keep everything really nice and tidy. So it's just good to have these for the seals on the buckets. And so no, nothing gets in there. We also get weevils, you know, the little bow weevils. So we got to keep the flower put away for that. And um, yeah, just a lot that goes on. But I'm going to go and one day, eventually, uh, we, my in-laws and my husband will probably redo this whole pantry. Um, they just ask me how I want stuff and I kind of tell them and, and cause they would, they can build anything like you, they could build a whole house. I'm sure I'm positive they could. Um, but yeah, I just, uh. We need to come up with a design, my husband and I, and figure out what we're going to do in here. Because this is not, it's just a lot of uh, misused space, if you will. Like, the shelf could be all the way out. And I don't know, it's just weird the way this was built. So, eventually, we'll get that done. But for now, we're going to make it work. And um, so, I'm just going to try to organize all this stuff. Y'all know, back in the day, I used to have all the little containers. I tried to be like all the other, you know ladies and the containers are cool but if you have a big bag of cereal okay we got three kids here i have four kids total but three kids that live here my oldest son he's an adult already but those containers 
you put the cereal in or whatever, and then you're still going to have leftover cereal in the bag, not unless you're just buying box cereal, which I usually buy things in bulk because, like I said, we have a large family and we live in the country. I don't want to be having to run to town constantly. So, um, but yeah, those containers were just a waste of space pretty much. They're cool if you want to keep things airtight and whatnot. But like I said, you're going to be pouring the stuff in the containers and then you're going to have the bag that has the rest of the food left in it. It's just a, it, it was too much for me. I just, I just stopped doing it. And that's what that's, what the, that's what it is. I don't know what to tell y'all. Uh, so now this is the area my, um, my husband and my father-in-law worked on this area. My mother-in-law kind of designed it where the shelves can be moved. They can be adjusted if we need to, but uh, it's just some wood shelves we put in here and I painted them and that's where I keep all the cleaning products, all the leftover, uh, The we got baggies back here, paper towels, toilet paper, napkins, and then all of my um, stuff to wash clothes with. And then all the rest of my cleaning products, like I said, that usually just sit there because I'm always using vinegar and water. But still, it's good to have just some cleaning products every now and then. Every now and then, I miss the smell of pine saw. I'm going to, you know, put some pine saw in my house, even though I know it's not really good for you. Uh, I just love the smell of it. It takes me back and um, things like that. But yeah, I usually just use vinegar and water to clean everything. But yeah, I'm going to get this all situated and organized. I still hope you are enjoying this video. And uh, yeah, go ahead and subscribe if you're new here. Hit the bell for notifications and comment down below as always. This boy in my mind that I can't live without all his eyes I can't be And he keeps talking about everything that he likes and I can't stop listening I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time All the time And my heart's beating fast when he's looking like that Oh, his smile is killing me It's the way that he moves and the way that he laughs So I can't get enough Think about him all the time I can get him off my mind Oh, I want him to be mine, to be mine My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him now, 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 now My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him nah, 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 nah My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall
So now I'm just vacuuming the floors real quick and then I realized that I needed to clean this and it's easier just to clean this with a dry washcloth that's kind of, you know, an old washcloth that's been used. It's just easier to get all that dust out of there with that. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe this down really quick and then I'm going to vacuum the floor uh, where I cleaned at and then I'm going to go ahead and steam mop in here and then I'm going to show y'all the afters I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope it got you motivated. I hope I didn't talk too much I have had a ton of energy the past couple of days because I started a new cleanse type thing for um, I've been I've been getting into more of a natural medicine type thing. So I've been taking um, It's a tablespoon of olive oil, a fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and a whole lemon. And I shoot that every morning and it makes me feel absolutely great. Uh, it's supposed to get your blood flowing and stuff like that. It's, it's just some herbal medicine that I've been trying out and I really, really like it. So anyway, that's why I'm so talkative. I'm full of energy right now. I'm fixing to upload this video and then I'm going to go ahead and start on the bedroom, which is going to be a huge task. I also bought some clothes from Timu. So I'm going to show y'all a little Timu haul in the next video. So be ready for that. And yeah, I hope everybody's doing great, like I said, and I wish you all the best. I love you all so, so much and take care of each other. Bye guys.